Hey guys, we are going to do our MSC Magnifica rating in this video. By the way, we've got a little somebody to show to you and introduce to you. This is Estella. We call her Stella for short. And she's one of our rating crew that's going to be helping us today. Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Kelly. And we're JK, JK Cruising. Cruising. Bargain. I rated this a 5.0. We literally picked the cheapest cruise we could find to see if it would give us the same experience as a higher price cruise. So it was $159 for three nights, but by the time you add taxes and fees and everything, it was close to $400, $500 each. Um, but yeah, it was a cheap cruise and it was a good experience. So a 5.0 for me. Hey guys, I rated this a 4.5. The hotels were about $400 a night in the Miami area if we wanted to take a land cruise. The total trip cost us about $1,785, and that was arriving a night early, staying in a hotel. Um, that was the flights included and the actual cruise itself, along with uh, we didn't do Wi-Fi, and we didn't do a beverage package or anything else. We just sort of cheaped out on this one. The very base package which frankly was sufficient for us so I, yeah uh, 4.5 for me out on this cruise of the msc magnifica for bargain so e for ease i rated this a 4.0 um check-in and embarkment was easy probably the easiest and the quickest that we have ever embarked right. ever um it was a little confusing because once you got on the ship you were allowed to go to your room and freshen up, drop off your bags, whatever. Uh, and then they ask that you vacate your room until about two o'clock. So if we had known that, all we had was carry on luggage. If we had known that, we would have taken our luggage with us right. um, rather than dropping it off at the curve. But like I said, it was a little confusing because they're the only cruise ship we've been on that allows that so far. Um, but yeah, it was, advocated it, was, it the way that MSC did. They really, Archie, I think, was the guy that came and got yeah, us. Yeah, the, shop, us the to, shopping guide, Archie. Yeah, he just came and got us, and he's like, hey, here's our policy. Walked us towards the elevators that we needed to go up. Like, said, here you go, here's the elevators, and up we went. Like, the onboarding was yeah, 13 minutes. Like, complete end-to-end -end from the time we arrived at port. Checked our bags and walked in. 13 to 15 yeah. minutes. I mean, it was super fast. Yep. yep. Um, and I rated this a 4.0 because that uh, the mustard drill was a little odd. Um, I think that's what Kelly was about to get to was um, not only is the part about checking in different than what we've had with other, some of the others. I know some of the other cruise lines allow that, um, but for the most part, it's just drop your stuff off and leave. Um, this was drop your stuff off, freshen up, and get out for a couple of hours and, and give them till 2, two o'clock. Yeah, um, but then you had to go back to your room yeah, go at back 2, to your room. and you stayed there until about 3.30, and they made a series of announcements about the muster drill. Yeah. You had to stay in your room, watch the video, and then dial a number on the phone, which we could never get to work for us. Yeah. Um, and then everybody at one time had to use the stairs, no elevators, and go to their muster station. So that was a little confusing. Um, and once we got there, everybody was there and we had to wait for the all clear. And, um, so we ended up staying there about 45 minutes and then everybody at one time was leaving, trying to get to the pool for the, um, sell away party. So that wasn't the easiest, uh, muster drill that we've ever had. But once we got through that, everything else was easy. Yeah, they definitely could have communicated what was going to happen a little better. But um, but overall, again, very easy uh, to deal with. Now that we are have been on an MSC cruise, this was our very first one, by the way. Um, so um, once we now that we've been on one, we sort of understand the process. And it's not complicated. Mm -hmm. It's just if you've never done it before, the it was way they communicated confusing. it wasn't, wasn't clear. So, yeah. Um, S for ship. I rated this a 4.0. Um, the ship was a little confusing to learn for me. The atrium didn't feel very open. Um, 
the decor is very different from most cruise ships. It's an Italian cruise line. Um, so there's a lot of animal print and a lot of mirrors around. So it's not your usual Caribbean feel decor. Um, but it was all very classy. The pool chairs were really cool. They had a little sunshade that came over the top, so your face was blocked from the sun. Um, so we really enjoyed those, but the ship was really nice, really tasteful. Um, had a lot of shopping on it, and not just shopping for your usual things you see on a cruise ship. They had toys, they had candy, they had all kind of stuff. Yeah, I would say that the ship was a little bit odd, and it had um, quite a lot of tiger print in the tiger bar area that was kind of odd <laughs> it was the tiger but, bar um yeah but it i guess themed appropriately uh, just never seen that much animal print um, <laughs> in one place i guess so that was just like i said a little bit odd but yeah but otherwise um you know the ship i rated it a 3.5 it was a nice ship it was definitely older um, mm -hmm. and you could tell that in in at least you know things like the bathroom and those kinds of areas but it was certainly functional and did everything we needed it to do. And so, um, yeah, I, for 159 bucks a night, like, and you go it to Key perfect. West and Nassau and those kinds of, it's kind of hard to beat the price point given all your food and everything's included in that. So yeah, it was pretty Absolutely. good deal. Absolutely. T for technology. Um, I don't know that I can actually give this a fair rating being that we didn't purchase the Wi-Fi, but I did hear a lot of people talking about it was really good. You could chat on the app without having the Wi-Fi, so that was great. Um, the technology in the room wasn't, it, it was back to your old, you know. Analog. Yeah. It wasn't even um, digital, it was analog. Turn the knob for air, cold, hot. But it was simple. Yeah. Cold or hot, that, that was yeah. your choices, so. Yeah. <laughs> and the shows didn't have a lot of technology in them, but, you know, being that the app was so good, uh, and what I heard about the Wi-Fi was so good. Yeah, I gave it a 4.0. I think we did see it looked like it was um, it did have Starlink. It looked like for internet. So I think you know, based on our experience on cruise lines that have Starlink, it's it's a much better experience than previously. So I'd expect the technology was was pretty good. I rated us a 3.5 again. Um, it wasn't there wasn't that much technology, and even in the shows, it was mostly the singers singing and spotlight so the technology was pretty basic but yeah yeah good uh again for 159 bucks like how can you argue kind of thing you know so c for crew i rated this a 4.5 the crew was very nice they spoke every time we passed them they had officer in motion night which is a night that you could dance with an officer if you wanted to dance with an officer in uniform um they also had selfies with the officers so they were very engaging um, with the guests. The cruise director was from Atlanta. He was very funny, um, very funny. And our room steward was great. Yeah, I, I rated staff of five. I think, you know, they were very nice. Very, They were very nice and very courteous. Yeah, just once you arrived at the table, they remembered who you are. They remembered your name. Um, you know, they, um, they, they knew what you liked to drink uh, and those types of things. So they were always there doing their thing uh, and, and they did it marvelously. They actually seemed excited and happy to have you on board. Yes. So, yeah. R for room. Um, I rated this a 4.0. The room was comfy. Probably the most, the, probably the smallest interior room we've ever stayed in, but it was very comfy. You could fit four people in there. It had the fold down um, cots or fold down beds, um, but it was it was comfy. The mattress probably wasn't the comfiest mattress we've ever been on, but there was a lot of storage and even shelves under the bathroom sink. The only complaint I had about the bathroom was the fact that it had a shower curtain instead of a glass door. Yeah. I, I gave the room a 3.5. I think the room was certainly adequate. Um, pillows were good. The bed was not my best sleep, but it was a nice bed. Uh, the bathrooms had a shower curtain. So for me, that was like, tells you that, you know, how old the ship is. Um, I don't really like the shower curtains anyways and those things, but it is what it is. 
Um, and uh, power strips and stuff in the room, they don't really have a lot of power, so you'll definitely want to bring extra power strips uh, and things like that to take advantage of, you know, plugging in, you know, your chargeables and stuff at night. All right, you for restaurants. I rated this a 4.0. There was only one specialty dining uh, restaurant on ship, but it really wasn't needed. The, the main dining was really good. Um, the only thing that held me back from giving this a 5.0 was the drink stations were out a lot of times. And the main din dining room, the main dining room was painfully slow sometimes. Um, I wasn't crazy about their assigned dining times being 6 or 8.30, and the show's being at 7.30 or 9.30. So when we had dinner at 6, we barely made the 7.30 show, and we even left one night before dessert just to make it to the show. Right. So, you know, overall, 4.0. Yeah, I gave this, uh, I gave the, the restaurants a 3.5. I think, you know, again, the, the, the crew, like I said earlier, they, they remember who you were, they remember your drinks. Uh, sometimes when they knew you were coming at a certain time, they'd almost have your stuff ready for you. They were that quick and on the spot for drinks. And then sometimes like you're gonna get one drink, you may not get a second the whole night. Um, so ask for what you want right up front. Um, the chicken parm was out of this world really good, I thought. Um, and the buffet, buffet had a good selection as well. So, I mean, I think this is typical cruise line buffet food, uh, but it was a higher quality mm -hmm. than just average cruise line stuff. So. Uh, but the types and selections of food, I think, was pretty typical of, of most cruise lines uh, these days. So, I for entertainment. I rated this a 4.0. For this to be a three-night cruise, there was a different show every night. The cruise director told us that they would get better and better as the, as the cruise went on. And he was right. There was, it, it, just, it, it just got better and better. Um, the singing was great. The costumes were fun and elaborate. Legends of Rock was really good. The singing was great. A bunch of songs by the Legends of Rock. And then we also saw Circus, which was the very last show. And it was unbelievably great. Yeah, I gave, uh, I gave entertainment a 4.5. And I think um, the entertainment just continually got better every night, um, ending with the climax of the circus. And that was super cool, super fun. Um, it seemed like a circus. And, you know, from trampolines to folks riding on unicycles to, you know, acrobatics to roller skaters. S for short excursion. I rated this a 4.5. <laughs> we did not do a short excursion in Key West because we lived there for four months. So we knew exactly what we wanted to do. We knew exactly the shops to hit, the restaurants to hit. Um, and, but we did do one in Nassau. We did the snorkeling and the private beach in a lunch. It was a five-hour excursion. Um, everyone was exhausted by like hour four and a half. So it was almost a tad too long. Um, the lunch they served us was extremely good. We had peas and rice and barbecue chicken, fried fish fingers, and coleslaw. Um, and this private beach was just perfect. I mean... It was, it was just perfect. It had everything from comfy lounge chairs to hammocks, swimming pool, private beach, snorkeling, um, the little restaurant that I mentioned, and drinks, just anything you could want. Yeah, I, um, I had a little bit different experience than Kelly there. I, I rated this a 3.5. Um, you know, we only took the one short excursion. We went to the private island, as Kelly mentioned. It was a great beach day and a very relaxing day, so don't take me the wrong way. The food was pretty good, just like kind of hit and miss for me, but the, the day and the, the little place was very cozy, quaint. Um, I definitely would recommend the chairs that have the big thick cushions on them. Oh yeah. Um, those were much better to spend four or five hours like we did. Uh, we didn't even go snorkeling that day. I'm sure the snorkeling was wonderful, but given it was a little earlier in the season, we decided to stay out of the cooler water, and we just sat on the beach. E for overall experience. Um, this was a very solid four for me. It was a smaller ship coming in only at 963 feet long. It only had one specialty restaurant, but the main dining was very good. 
and the shows were great. Um, the assigned dining is a little outdated of a practice to me, but the it dining was, time you mean? Yeah, the assigned yeah. dining time. But it was it was fine, and, and the cruise the mustard drill was a little. Yeah, they could know, do a better job. Confusing, yeah. Yeah. but overall the crew was very nice. They were right on top of things. A, a very solid 4.0. Yeah, I gave this a 4.0 as well, um, and, and overall, uh, for overall experience, um, I would say, like, um, to summarize, like, good time, it was good food, it was good music, good entertainment, uh, nice crew, it was a good value. Um, I'd take this cruise again, just like this, on the MSC Magnifica, because I thought it was that good of a cruise, Yeah. Um, and it was cheap, and it was, you know, reasonable, and, yeah, so that's where we ended up, so... Kelly wound up with a total of 42 or 4.2 was her score out of five. And I wound up with a 39.5 or round up to a 4.0. Um, and so grand total was a 4.1 out of five stars on this best adventure cruise that rating. we were on. Yeah, this best cruise rating. So you guys hang around for more and we'll talk about some of the other things we're going to see uh, in some of the other videos that are coming up. Um, so come join us. We got a full tour and other things. So until next time, we'll see you soon and go have your best cruise. Talk to you soon. Bye.